Another footage has been released, showing the explosions that occurred following the Ukrainian army's missile attack on the occupied city of Luhansk on October 29th. As can be seen from the footage shared by local residents, two explosions took place in the area. One of them is said to be at a gas station. It should be noted that an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse as a result of the Ukrainian missile strike on the area. Residents who shot the footage said those in the area fled after the first explosion. <laughs> Там заправка была. Ни хрена я был. Где это? Не сработало, сука, я снимал все, блядь. Не сработало? Охренеть, вот эта красота была, блядь. Чё горит? Чё они бегут куда? Я стол, я и окна повылетали нахуй на все. Вы повылетали окна? Да, я с полки летели, блядь. Но с... блядь они... Повылетала она там. Нихуя. Все, смотри, все уезжают. Вон летит, аж свои куски летят. Вон бегут все люди. Еще разок не бала. Пиздец. Блять, ё -моё. Не, бать! Ёб твою мать! Ага! Машину забирайте! Убирайте тачки! Охренеть. Охуеть. Chechnya's leader Ramzan Kadyrov has said his fighters will avenge the drone attack targeting the Russian Special Forces University named after Vladimir Putin in Chechnya's Gudurm's town. Kadyrov said the reason the university was attacked, is that it produced thousands of special forces that played key role in the war. The attack that was launched on Tuesday morning, caused fire on the roof of the building on the territory of the university. Kadyrov said there were no casualties during the attack and that the fire was extinguished. Почему случилось это, разбирается следствие, да он будет ясно, дана картина, виновный будет наказан, да, будем стараться, пред такого не случилось. Да. Рамзан Ахмадович, а почему, на ваш взгляд, именно российский университет спецназа для атаки они выбрали? Ну, на самом деле, да, он, российский да, университет спецназа, да, он, 
отправил бы он около 50 тысяч он, бойцов он, на войну, и они эти ребята забрали он, Мариуполь, Лисачанс, Попасный, он, они забрали, он, они остановили курс, он, и эти ребята пока, показывали он, конкретные он, на что они способны, он, и э, так равно поставить там с ними рядом он, таких сил у этих шайтанов нету, поэтому вот, они знают, что это кузница кадров военных и для, для того, чтобы напугать нас, да, он, они да, он, ну, так, по пощупали нас. Да. Будет ли какая-то ответная особая мера на атаку? Обязательно, да. Чеченец свое всегда возвращает домой. Да. Они нас покусили, мы их да, уничтожим, да, покажем да, в ближайшем будущем да, такое возмездие, что даже им не снилось. The Wall Street Journal has reported it is possible that North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un might have sent younger soldiers to Russia aged under 20 and without appropriate military training. The publication reports that video evidence and intelligence reports suggest that the North Korean soldiers deployed to Russia are likely young men under the age of 20 who are in the early stages of military conscription. The Wall Street Journal reported that these soldiers' training has focused on assassinations and infrastructure destruction in the mountainous regions of South Korea. A far cry from the trench warfare unfolding in the flat plains along the Ukrainian-Russian border. Most of these recruits have probably never left North Korea and the country's army is equipped with outdated conventional equipment. South Korean Defense Minister Kim Jong-hyun assessing the military called them mere cannon fodder mercenaries. The US, South Korea and Ukraine estimate that approximately 3,000 North Korean troops have arrived in Russia this month. Former South Korean defense official James J.B. Park suggests that North Korea's Kim Jong-un may want to first gauge the domestic reaction to this decision as well as the Kremlin's response by sending what he considers to be a relatively expandable resource. Park believes that if Russian leader Vladimir Putin demands additional reinforcements or Kim decides to fulfill recently strengthened bilateral commitments, these troops will pave the way for more experienced units. The Wall Street Journal also reported that it is still unclear what role the North Korean military will play in Russia's war against Ukraine. Without taking part in hostilities, they could gain experience by observing the use of drones and the conditions of war, especially in cooperation with the Russians who use North Korean munitions and missiles. On the other hand, North Korea's direct involvement in hostilities would signal a dramatic escalation of the conflict, which has been going on for over two years, the US and NATO allies have said. The first North Korean military units that have undergone training at training grounds in eastern Russia have arrived in the war zone. They were spotted in Russia's Kursk Oblast, where Ukrainian forces are conducting an operation. North Korean military personnel whom Russia intends to use in the war against Ukraine have several weeks to train. Ukrainian intelligence added that the number of North Korean troops deployed to Russia is currently around 12,000, including 500 officers, particularly three Pyongyang generals.